What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick speed test for the Galaxy Note 7, the new Galaxy Note 7, Coral Blue model. I already did an unboxing. If you haven't seen my unboxing, go check it out. I'll link it below for you. Uh, against the ZT Axon 7. I did a lot of coverage on the Axon 7. People were really excited about this phone. And so I'm gonna to put together a speed test of everyday basic apps like messaging, social media, and see which one can launch them faster. I've chosen eight apps. We got a $400 phone, a $920 phone is what I paid for it after tax, I believe. We're gonna see which one's actually faster in everyday tasks. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, what about gaming apps? Well, I'm actually gonna stay away from that in this video and just do everyday basic apps because I think the Note 7 might actually get slowed down a little bit because of the Vulkan APIs it has when doing gaming, even though it improves the quality of the gaming. I actually noticed that a little bit when I was watching uh, Ash from C4E Tech's speed test of the Note 7 and the OnePlus 3. So I do have the T-Mobile variant. I'm gonna let the Note 7 go first. Uh, they both are on Wi-Fi. I went ahead and rebooted both phones. They don't have any recent apps there. I'm gonna use the S7 Edge as a stopwatch here just to sort of time the performance of each of them. Let me go ahead and get the stopwatch up for the S7 Edge here. And oops, I gotta find it. I have my Philips Hue up there. Let me go ahead and find my stopwatch there. There we go. All right, so you can see the eight apps that I've chosen here. The eight apps are Android Central, Dropbox, Instagram, Camera, YouTube, Facebook, Gmail, and Hangouts. So nothing too graphic intensive. Both of them are on my same Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and do this, um, and we'll time it with the S7 Edge. So one, two, three. Android Central loaded to completion. Dropbox, a little bit of a hang there. Loaded to completion. Instagram, loaded to completion. We've got the camera app, loaded to completion. YouTube, loaded to completion. Facebook, let's let it load all the way. Gmail, loaded. And Hangouts, loaded as well. So stopped at 26.41 seconds for the Galaxy Note 7. That's a pretty good time, pretty fast. You did notice that it hangs with Dropbox a little bit there. So that's something to note. We'll see what happens with the Axon 7. So remember that number there, 26.41. Of course, you can rewind the video. Uh, you see I've got the same apps here. We'll go ahead and reset it here. 26.41 for the Note 7. I've got Android Central, Dropbox, Instagram, Camera, YouTube, Facebook, Gmail, and Hangouts. The same order. Also, also rebooted with no recent apps there so that you guys can see that we're just keeping this fair between the two phones. So let's go ahead and press the start here once again and we'll go ahead and test the Axon 7. One, two, three. So Android Central completely loaded. Dropbox. A little bit of a hang with Dropbox as well on the Axon 7. It's loaded. Instagram. Loaded. We've got the camera app. Loaded as well. YouTube. Loaded to completion. Facebook. Loaded. Gmail loaded and hangouts loaded as well so if i stop it there probably a couple seconds there for me to stop it so it's at 29.49 so pretty close actually within a margin of error they're just a uh, three seconds off we had 26.41 for the galaxy note 7 so a pretty close time between these two phones so overall not bad on the everyday apps situation i think the times are pretty close um, again i'm going to redo this test with some gaming apps and then post a quick video, a second video, just because I want the videos to be pretty short so you guys can give me any feedback before I do the next one as well. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, if I didn't do something right, let me know if there's something I should do differently in the speed test. I think it was pretty fair. The Note 7 appears to be a little bit faster than the Axon 7, at least with those everyday apps that I just showed you right there, but they are very close. So within a margin of error, it's not a lot faster. Obviously, if it's just looking at the speed, I would say the Note 7 is definitely not worth $500 more. You're only getting a couple seconds faster than the Axon 7, perhaps. Uh, but obviously, there are other things to consider. So I'll have a full comparison of these two phones, including features, value, etc. This was just the speed test. Also, stay tuned for the gaming speed test. I'll also do any comparisons to the OnePlus 3 you guys are interested in. Please drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Follow me at Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Also at dopetechdaily.com. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content so that I can do even more content. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.